Yeah. Can I respond to that? Yeah. Well, Mohamed, I definitely agree with you that it's better to uh, do neuromuscular monitoring and hopefully it uh, was clear that the most recommended method to use Sugamadex is with a quantitative monitoring and in, in again in my uh, uh, department we always use the quantitative one. But we have to accept that there are some studies that show that if you're following the 15 minutes rule and the rest and the, uh, the breathing rule, then then it's okay too. I would not recommend it, but I'm sorry, I just agree that even with Sugamadex, actually, you don't have new technology. You need to separate the situation. With Sugamadex, as you must have a good number of the muscle that you have to The, thank you. Thank you again for this comment too. Um, I know the big discussion about uh, uh, the Grosse Sundrup paper in the uh, British Medical Journal, but um, discussion, yes or no, uh, they have shown that neostigmine at the end of anesthesia in patients with a neuromuscular block are not improved by neostigmine. I can change the data. M most there is a big discussion. And I think we, we can complete that discussion for many, many hours. But at the end, new studies have to prove or to disapprove. Yes, that's, that's the other thing. The, the risk for, for uh, uh, hypersensitivity, whatever is behind, I, know, I don't know the mechanisms behind either. So whatever the reason is, uh, the incidence is, is very low. It's low in, in, the, in the clinical program. Yes, yes. And the mechanism is, is or, or the how how this should happen is also a little bit difficult. As a gamadex is negatively charged, it's too small to have allergic re reaction by itself, so it must bind to a protein. We know that most proteins are also negatively charged, so I don't expect it by, by, by these principal considerations that Sugamadex is a candidate for a high, for a high rate of, of allergic reactions, but at the end, I'm not part of the FDA, of course, and I'm also not part of the study team that has to investigate that. I think it's very, very difficult to do that because you have to give it more and more times. Uh, nobody knows how long the time must be between the...
Yes, yes, I agree. I was invited to, to participate in the studies too, so I'm, I'm very keen on, on seeing what happens with, with that drugs. Uh, but I think it's, it's a way to go. Um, the opportunity of these drugs would be that it, they would not only work with rocuronium, but also with cis atracurium and so I think it's a very interesting uh, group of, of, of molecules and uh, at the end hopefully we will get the one that is uh, available and, and uh, is, uh, has no complications, has no interactions and so I think it's, it's a way to go but I, um, I hope it will, will work.